Hi everyone, this is Sumit here and welcome to my channel Excel with Sumit. In this video, I'll explain how to look a value which is present in either of the eight columns and you have to get output which is present in one column. For example, here you have to look up a value E106 which is present in the fifth column and you want to get the output of stationary. Similarly, you want to look up a value A116 which is present in the first column and you want to get the output pet supplies and you have to use the same formula and get the category output in the final column. So I'll explain how to do that step by step. To start with, I'll explain one of the formula in Excel, which is called two column. In two column, what Excel does is it converts the range of cells in a single column. For example, here I have selected the entire cells here. Now when I press enter, this will convert into a single column here. So I'll be using this function to get a reverse view lookup. And now what I will do is I will double click this and I'll go after equal to symbol and then I'll write a formula called match. So I'll try to match the value which we are looking for. So here we are looking up this value. So we'll click the cell, we'll press comma and at the last we'll press comma and then press zero. Basically we are looking up the value in the entire set here. So now we'll press enter here, we'll press yes. We see here that we have got the number 45 which is basically the count of cells which is before the code E106. Now we want to find the position of this cell among this row. So as we know that we have total here eight columns, then what we will do is we will divide this formula by number eight. So we'll press divide by symbol and then we'll write number eight and press enter. So here we got the number 5.625. It means that it is present after the fifth row and it is present in the sixth row. So here what we need to do next is that we have to get the next number which is after this number which should be 6 here. So here if you round up the number from 5.6 it will become 6. So now we have to write a function called round up. We'll double click here at the starting we'll write round up. So we'll go down here and press tab here. Now again we'll go to the last press comma press 0 and press the closing bracket and press enter. We see that we have got the number 6 here. Now this became very simple. We just need to get the sixth row output which is present in the first column. So we can do that by using an index formula. So now we'll double click this. We'll go in the starting. We'll write index. We'll press tab here. Now the array will be only this first column here. So we'll select this first column. We'll press F4. We'll press comma. As we know that we have got the output six previously. So we'll keep it as it is. Now we'll close the bracket and then we'll press enter. We see that we have got the output stationary. So now we'll drag down the function till the bottom. We see that we have got the hash and name because in the middle of the function we have not fixed this column. So we'll select the cells and press F4 key and then press enter. Now if you drag down this function till the bottom, we see that we have got the required output. For example, A116 is pet supplies, F113 is footwear, C117 is travel gear, G109 is garden and similarly D102 is fashion and B108 is wireless. In this way, you can do a VLOOKUP and get the lookup value in either of the eight columns and get the output only from one column. 